Early this year, President Uhuru Kenyatta set a light over 105 tons of ivory and nearly 1.5 tons of rhino horn. In his speech, sounding a sharp warning to poachers, financiers, traders and smugglers. However, the warning seems to have fallen on deaf ears. No one, and I repeat again, no one has any business trading in ivory, for this trade means death death of our elephants, and death of our natural heritage. A multi-agency team comprised of officers from KRE, the National Police Service, Interpol, Kenya Wildlife Services, National Intelligence Service, among other state agencies, are conducting investigations to unmask cartels behind the smuggling of a shipment of ivory that had been sneaked out of the country through the port of Mombasa before it was recalled. And to me, and to everyone here who has feeling, it's a sad day to see that quite a number of uh, animals are being killed and transported. If you look at here, you can really tell that there is a wipeout of certain number of uh, elephants, which is very sad, actually. It is, however, not clear how two containers, which were the only ones containing the contraband ivory, managed to leave the port as the remaining eight, which were free of contrabands, were intercepted by KRA agents. KRA and KWS also failed to establish whether the ivory was as a result of poaching activities within the country, across borders, or whether the consignment would have been stolen from the KWS stockpile. There were total were 10. Two had been exported. We intercepted eight here, which we verified we didn't see anything. But we had believed that there is ivory hidden in the two that we have now brought them back. The current state of affairs has questioned the integrity of the officials charged with curbing illegal activities at the port. Regina Manyara Gitao reporting for Channel One Business News.